Well, with primary season in full swing, all eyes are on key Senate races in states like Ohio and Missouri. John Gizzi standing by for more on the key races here. He's our senior White House correspondent. We're looking at some of the video here. Uh, John, we'll start in the Buckeye State where things got a little heated in a recent debate between uh, Republican candidates Josh Mandel and Mike Gibbons. Uh, I mean, literally nose to nose here as our viewers watch. What happened here? Well, they had a major dispute that is now being called poll wars among Buckeye State political observers. Mike Gibbons cited his background as an entrepreneur and said that perhaps Josh Mandel, longtime state treasurer and former state legislator, might not understand something because he's never worked in the private sector. At which point Mandel got up and said he certainly has worked and he served in the military. And at that point, it looked nose to nose and that blows were coming. Meanwhile, J.D. Vance, best-selling author and another candidate, sat at the side and tried to stay out of it. And Jane Timken, former state Republican chairman, also dodged any flying flack. Overall, this is a bloody race, and most observers I've talked to say the only one it can benefit in the long run is the likely Democratic nominee, Congressman Tim Ryan. In Ohio, I'm watching for a UFC fight. It, it felt like a weigh-in uh, watching that debate play out there, literally nose to nose. Uh, I'll turn now to the show me state with you. President Trump, as you know, withholding his endorsement for a Senate candidate in a very crowded field that includes former Governor Eric Greitens. And on top of that, the recent allegations of domestic abuse. Um, what is the latest with this situation here? In the last 24 hours, all six of former Governor Eric Greitens' opponents, not surprisingly, have called on him to abandon the race in lieu of charges from his former wife that he was violent around her, their children. In addition, the retiring Senator Republican Roy Blunt has told Greitens he has to go. So far, the former governor says when the full story is out, he'll be vindicated and he's not going anywhere. I might add that he leads in just about every poll, most recently in a Trafalgar poll among likely Republican voters. His two leading opponents are State Attorney General Eric Schmidt and Congresswoman Vicki Hartzler. All are strong conservatives and say they are supporters of President Trump and, as you mentioned, President Trump is staying out of it. All right, John Gizzi joining us live from the North Lawn with the latest on those key Senate races there uh, with Ohio and Missouri. John, thanks. Joining us now is the Attorney General of Missouri, Eric Schmidt, also one of those Senate candidates in the Show Me State. Uh, it's nice to see you, AG. Let's get started with what's happening in your home state here. Crime is up. No doubt you'll be asked about that uh, as the primaries continue here in Missouri. One report, though, finds that the St. Louis District Attorney's Office of Kim Gardner is dropping about a third of criminal cases here. A recent case in St. Louis not being prosecuted includes a man who allegedly attempted to carjack a marked police SUV with two officers inside. So I'll ask you, AG, are you noticing a pattern here? Oh, absolutely. Uh you know, this is an unbelievable story that you just referenced, but sadly not surprising here in the Show Me State as we've gotten to know Kim Gardner, a Soros-funded prosecutor who is allergic to prosecuting violent crime. And more than that, the cases that are being presented through the hard work of law enforcement that I've supported throughout my you know, tenure as AG, she's rebuffing those, not even bringing charges. The charges she does bring, her conviction rate is terrible. She's had over 100 percent turnover. This is also, by the way, in a city where the mayor is trying to defund the police. As attorney general, they had a settlement with, uh, or a judgment uh, with the state, and I actually offered $5 million from that settlement to go to hire more police officers. They have to use the money to hire more police officers, about 200 officers short. Uh, they refused it. So uh, it's a total disaster. The prosecutor's a mess, and the people of uh, St. Louis deserve better, and I'm going to keep fighting for them as their attorney general, along with law enforcement. Yeah, you, you want safe communities and also uh, police officers to feel safe as well while they're doing their job. I'd like to pivot uh, to another lawsuit you're working on. This has to do with the Missouri School Boards Association. Uh, that was filed last week. Tell me a little bit about what you're alleging here uh, and why you think it's important. 
Yeah, and to take a step back here, last fall, as we're all aware, uh, when parents started showing up at school board meetings objecting to things like forced masking and CRT, uh, the National School Board Association actually worked with the Department of Justice to weaponize the FBI and go after parents as domestic terrorists under the Patriot Act. Unbelievably, it sounds like something out of a third world banana republic, but it's happening here. I was the first attorney general uh, to raise issue with that. Earlier this month, we filed a lawsuit with other state AGs against the Department of Justice for withholding documents that we asked for related to that. And then last week, I filed a lawsuit against the Missouri School Board Association for refusing to provide documents about what they knew, when they knew it, what role did they play in this effort to label domestic terrorists, that parents as domestic terrorists and go after them. And then in addition to that, they're hiding documents about their involvement with CRT in Missouri. So, you know, as an AG, I've sued school districts for forced masking. We've sued school districts over CRT. This is just the next uh, wave, I think, to protect parents and students in the show me state. Well, that will also uh, likely come up in your primary campaign. And as I've alluded to, I know you are running for Senate and your opponent, Eric Greitens, has come under major controversy uh, for allegedly physically assaulting his ex-wife and children. He has denied those accusations. But do you believe Eric Greitens should continue his campaign? Look, these allegations are disgusting. They're sickening. As attorney general, I know a predator when I see one, I've stood with victims every step of the way as AG. Uh, based on those allegations and that sworn affidavit, Eric Greitens belongs in a prison cell, not on the ballot for U.S. Senate. He should withdraw his candidacy immediately. All right. We'll keep an eye on that story. Again, Greitens denying those accusations. Attorney General of Missouri Eric Schmidt joining us on the program. Thank you. We appreciate your time. Good to be with you.